back to Katie's Kingdom. I am packing up for our trip to Walt Disney World, our last trip before baby number two arrives, our baby moon. And I've been meaning to film a What's in My Toiletries bag for a year. And many of you have asked for this video and then I just end up running out of time whenever I'm doing a packing series. But um, this time I thought I'd start with the toiletries and I am an overpacker, so there's my disclaimer. I'm not gonna apologize for that. This is just the things that make me comfortable. While I am traveling, it pretty much never changes, and I always feel like I have just the around, right amount of stuff for myself. So if you like these videos, stick around, and I'll show you what's in my toiletry bags. I separate the toiletries into one main bag, and this is sort of a new um, set for me. This is all from Vera Bradley. I bought these maybe a couple of months ago, so I'll link them down below if they're still available. But I decided to just get one big hold all bag. I used to have a hanging one that had more internal organization and I just wanted one that I could literally throw everything in, take everything out, and then throw it back in. Um, so that's been working for me for the past couple trips and I really like it. And then the extra little bags are are different things um, like subcategories of toiletries. So I'll go ahead and start with the main bag and here we go. So I'm just gonna pull things out sort of at random um, but like I said we're going to Walt Disney World. It is the middle of May. It's gonna be really hot. It's almost the end of May. It's gonna be really hot so this is stuff that uh, I need for a warm weather vacation starting with sunscreen. I like to put my sunscreen on in the morning before I get dressed and I do have a little one that I keep in my carry-on in my park bag um, so I can reapply during the day but generally I just put it on before I leave and I like this Neutrogena Beach Defense 30. I know Neutrogena is not the best. I prefer Sunbum, sun bum, but um, I actually got this at a drugstore the last time I was somewhere and I just like to finish the one that I have before I buy another one because these expire very quickly. Uh, the next thing, of course, a hairbrush. I have so much hair, can't live without this. So this is just right on top because I need it a lot and I use the wet brush, which is just wonderful. This is the Wet Brush Pro. It's wonderful for long, tangly hair like mine. I also throw in lots of contact lenses. Uh, these are the ones that I use. They're daily contact lenses, so I have to bring enough for each day of my trip, plus a few just in case um, some were to get, you know, torn or lost or anything. I have these all over the place in many different bags, so I'll never be without them because that's one thing you can't just like go to the store and buy because they're prescription, obviously. Uh, the next thing I put in a little bag so it wouldn't leak and um, I am pregnant, so it is bio oil. This is what I like to use to keep the stretch marks at bay. It worked with my first child with my son, so I'm hoping it will pretty much work again. Um, but it's really oily, so I just stuck it in this bag. And I like to take um, the ends of things, like so not a full bottle. Um, that way I don't have to decant things. And I'll just take the end of this little bottle and then probably throw it away by the end of the trip. Uh, the same thing with my moisturizer. Right now I'm using the Juice Beauty Antioxidant Moisturizer. This is uh, organic. It doesn't have parabens and all, any of the nasties that you don't want um, anytime, but especially while you're pregnant. So this is the one I've been using. There's just a little bit left. This will probably just last me for the trip and not much more. I have just some um, heavier cream for my legs and things because I am a very dry skinned person. Um, so this philosophy cream is like a really heavy consistency. I do use the lotion that they give in the hotel, but it's a more lighter consistency. So when I really need to like do my legs after the shower, I like to use that. There's again, only a little bit left. So it, the weight is kept down. Then I have two deodorants and I have two because of course, I prefer to use the aluminum-free uh, healthy deodorant. It's from La Vanilla, and it's the Pure Vanilla Scent. No aluminum, no parabens. It's good stuff, but when it's 97 degrees and you're outside all day in Disney World, uh, sometimes this just doesn't cut it. I feel after a couple of days of just using this, um, 
it, it just it doesn't cut the um, sweat and the smell so I do have to supplement it with good old degree aluminum full uh, unhealthy deodorant but I like the motion sense ultra clear in the pure rain scent so I figure if I use it this some of the time at least some of the time I'm not doing quite as much damage by having that deodorant story then I have q-tips in my little carry case I could probably stand to put a couple more of these in. I haven't really looked at this stuff very much, very closely since the last time we went away, which was just a couple of weeks ago. Next, I have just a um, headband and a clip to keep my hair out of my face while I'm washing my face. So that's a necessity, of course. I have two um, shower caps. These I use the disposable ones that you get in a lot of nicer hotels will give you uh, disposable shower caps and I just reuse them like multiple times. Um, I let, hang them up, let them dry out after I use them. But a lot of days I don't wash my hair. I do, you know, obviously bathe my body and shower every day, but I don't like to wash my hair. So a shower cap is a necessity. So I've got two just in case one gets um, ripped or also sometimes when Jackson sees me with the shower cap on he hates getting his hair wet fun fact he's like uh, has a phobia uh, against getting his head wet so he really likes to use one so I have two uh, then of course a toothbrush I just use a regular old toothbrush and I do love these Steri pods I get these for my whole family we all use them and like them that way if you just set your toothbrush down on the counter you're not all grossed out since usually there's no, you know, holder for the toothbrush at a hotel, even if you just set it down. Whoa, SteriPod story. Um, this is all just in random order, but the next thing I'm pulling out are these Pacifica underarm wipes. I love these for especially uh, sweaty Disney vacations because halfway through the day we will, oh, it was open. I hope it's not dried out. No, it's, it's still, it's still okay. Um, but it says Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes odor neutralizing with coconut milk and sugared flowers. These are great if you only have like a few minutes to refresh yourself before going out again for the evening. We always try and take a break in the middle of the day, but it's usually not a very long break. And that is usually spent like rushing around trying to like refresh myself um, and change our clothes and you know, refresh makeup and all that good stuff. So these are really great because if I don't have time to jump in the shower, I can just sort of, you know, wash the pits. I have another shower cap. This is just the one that I grabbed um, out of the last hotel room that we were at. And you can never have too many of those. I have a Victoria's Secret body spray when we're doing something um, casual like this. This will be enough for me for a scent for the week. You know, I don't go crazy like carrying a perfume. This is plastic, it holds together so it doesn't leak. Um, this is the Crush scent. Then I have the very end of a little bit of um, toothpaste and I thought I grabbed, well, I need to grab another toothpaste because this is just about out, but you know, obviously you need to bring toothpaste so I'll put that over there to remind myself. Uh, then I have a makeup remover cleansing wipes from Neutrogena. These are tried and true um, wipes that I use to take off my makeup. And I like the little packages that you only get seven so you don't have to bring your whole big tub of them. So that's a must. Uh, this is glasses cleaner. I have eyeglasses as well as sunglasses. And you know, every day or so before we head out to the parks, I'll just give everybody's glasses a spritz. This is probably one of the most important things that I can never forget because, oh, hang on one second, my son is needing me. He's just watching a show while I'm trying to film this. Whew, sorry. I'm a little out of breath because, do you ever get the feeling if you're a mom of young children that all you do all day is just like procure snacks? Anyway. <laughs> So, one of my favorite uh, products is this Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion in SPF 50 Plus. It's water resistant sunscreen and it's wet force, which means that if you sweat all day, it will stay on your face. And I use this as my morning moisturizer. Um, and then I put it on under my 
um, makeup, which also has SPF. So I have a few layers of SPF and then I find I don't have to reapply any sunscreen throughout the day. Um, this works amazing. I don't know what I would do without this. Like there is, in my opinion, nothing that works as well as the Shiseido and it, it does that nice little satisfying sound when you shake it up. Um, this is 100% my favorite um, facial product for being in the sun. You cannot get your face sunburned. Like that is, that is a bad thing. So um, if you wanna keep your skin as nice as possible, use high level sunscreen. It doesn't matter if your face doesn't get as tan as your body, like that's what we have makeup for, right? So that is a must have. Um, then I have just my eye cream. Right now I like the Time in a Bottle for Eyes by Philosophy and I use this usually definitely at night sometimes in the morning but try and keep up with my regimen of the important stuff when I'm on vacation then I have the purity made simple um, cleanser for my face I use that morning and night and I like this I just keep refilling my little bottle with my bigger bottle of cleanser then I have a uh, travel Tylenol because you never know if you need something. This is about the only thing I could take these days if I get a headache or my back hurts or something. And then um, Tums, which I need to also put these aside and refill these because I have been living on Tums lately. The joys of growing a human inside you. These are things that I stole from the hotel the last time that don't need to be in here. So I'm gonna put those aside. Then I have um, this is some micellar cleansing water that I got as a free um, sample product when I was at Target, and it's a waterproof makeup remover, so I thought I'd throw that in there and give that a try. Dental floss, you cannot live without dental floss. I wear Invisalign have for years, um, so I am trained to floss my teeth every single day of my life before I go to bed. I cannot go to bed without flossing, so I'm a big proponent of floss. I have some more um, daily contact lenses. Just, I have five plus an extra three. We're going for five and eights, but you know, need extras. Of course, panty liners, because who doesn't need those in your bag, ladies, am I right? Um, just a few band-aids in case I need them. Usually if I get a blister on my foot, that's the only time I'll use a band-aid, but. Um, Hollywood fashion tape. This comes in real handy if you have like a shirt that doesn't like stay put or you have to keep adjusting it. You just stick some fashion tape from your bra onto your shirt, works like a charm. So I do use that a lot. Um, this is some, I know I'm pregnant and I'm not supposed to use this, but this is like emergency steroid cream because I have um, eczema flare ups every once in a while and this is the only thing that does the trick for me when that happens. So just to avoid any sort of emergency, I just keep that for peace of mind. I probably won't use it because you shouldn't probably use steroids on your body when you're pregnant, but it's like a peace of mind thing. This is just a little um, keeping my hair back sort of thing. I have this I really like. I got um, some drunk elephant travel sized things uh, for Christmas and this is the Firm and Brightening C C Firma Day Serum by Drunk Elephant and it's just the vitamin C serum um, and I do this one in the morning. I really like this. It's brightening. It's beautiful. I want to get the full size. Uh, so yeah, I tried it out. Love it. So I kept it in here because it's travel size. And then this one is the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum by Drunk Elephant and this one I use at night if I want a little extra skincare if I have time to do that. Um, so both of those I've been liking. I do take things like this when I have little travel trial things. I do like to take them on vacation to try them because it's a good time to, um, you know, try new things, do a little extra skincare. Then I have um, re-wetting eye drops for my contact lenses. Pretty self-explanatory and a little spoolie for my eyelashes. If I wash my face at night, I wanna just brush them out. It's in there and I have in here a little tiny, um, what are the name? 
tweezers and a little tiny another pair of tweezers and that reminds me i need to put a nail file because i do use the i have gel on my nails but occasionally if it gets snagged i'll need to like file it down so i thought there was a file in here but that reminds me so i'll put that in my remember to deal with thing that's another good reason filming this video i uh like I'm able to take inventory of what I have and tweak it if I need to. And then this is a little thing that you put on the back of your bra to make it a racer back bra. So that's something I love too. So that's it for the main bag of my toiletries. I'm gonna put it all back in here and then I'll show you my satellite bags. Okay, so here are my four smaller satellite bags. I don't know why I call it that, but I'm just, <laughs> anyway, okay. Okay, so here are my four smaller bags with sort of subcategories of things. And I, again, got these at Beer Bradley. Uh, three of them came in a set. These three came in a set inside of that one and I got a great deal on them because they were at the outlet and I love them. This is working out so well for me and I like how they all match because I did previously have all the same things in little bags but they were matching so this is kind of fun um so let's see what's in here oh okay so the first one this one is the only one that doesn't go in my um checked bag this is the one that i put in my carry-on bag because these are things that i could not replace if somehow my bag got lost uh so in here is my invisalign that is something that i need to use every single night to keep my teeth straight. I spend a lot of money on my teeth in Invisalign, so I don't want to spend a week, you know, messing it up. So that goes in there as well as my eyeglasses because God forbid my checked luggage did not arrive. I need to be able to see. And even if I didn't, wasn't able to get my contacts, um, at least I need my glasses. And then I also stuck in um, five days worth of contacts because, you know, I just worry about things like that and I'd rather be over prepared than not be able to see on vacation. I think that's important. So this all goes into my carry-on bag and then when I get there I just pull it out and put it in the bathroom. Here is my things that I need inside the shower, so wet items. Um, I like to keep these separate because you know when you pull them out to go home they're a little bit damp because they've been in the shower. I don't want to just throw them in with the rest of my stuff. And this I can just take out. I also put it in a Ziploc bag. I just take this out and put it right over um, by the shower as soon as they get there. So in here, depending on where I'm going, if I'm going somewhere that's like a vacation rental uh, condo, I will take more because obviously they don't give you things. But for hotel stuff, like I'm fine with using their soap and body wash. Um, they do not usually give you shaving gel, so I always bring shaving gel. I just, I like this Skintimate one just because this is the one they sell in the travel size. So, and I make sure, you can never tell how full these things are, so I make sure to get a fresh one every trip that I go on, and then I just use up the rest when I get home. And I've been stuck before without shaving gel, and that's like one thing that you don't wanna do. Um, also, my razor, and then SteriPod just started making these razor clips, which I think is really neat and it's supposed to uh, extend the life of your razor. So, and also if you put the plastic one that it comes with back on, it tends to get, um, what do you call it, rusty really quick. So I'm, I was excited that they made this product. I just found this at Target at the um, Travel Toiletries section. Um, then I have just some Kiehl's Creme de Coeur Soy Milk and Honey Body Polish because I've had some, um, skin like flaking issues so I wanted to bring something that is exfoliate exfoliating so I brought that um this is for Jackson actually it's the Johnson's head to toe baby wash um give me one second that's him calling me probably for more snacks okay sorry about that um and then the last thing for my shower supplies is a good shampoo and a good conditioner I um my hair is very important to me it's very temperamental i can probably do one wash with the uh regular shampoo and conditioner that they give you at a hotel but um after that it just starts getting build up -y and um not not how i want my hair to be and if i'm gonna wash it i only wash it every few days if i'm gonna wash it i'm gonna wash it with the products that i know um do it the most good um so i get the little redkin 
Um, these I got, he had these at Target in a set of the two of them and um, this will probably get me two washes um, and I've used this for our last trip for one wash so I have one wash worth right here. Um, big story about my shampoo and conditioner habits but this is the Color Extend Redken Shampoo and Conditioner and it works really nice. So I've got that for one wash and then I'll do a second wash um, with the hotel shampoo but we're only there for five nights so I'm I might only wash my hair once. I just washed it. That's another good tip. If you're packing your toiletries, um, get yourself completely ready. Like wash your hair, dry your hair, do your hair, style your hair, and then put everything in your containers as you go along. And that'll help you remember everything. So I, that's what I did this morning. I took some time to wash my hair and do my hair. And that was another reason I'm like, well, I gotta film a video now because, yeah, anyway. Okay, what's in here? Okay, and then these are my dry hair products. I know this is a lot about hair, but I have a lot of hair. I like to style it. It's one of my uh, favorite, I don't know. It's like one of my things. Like I'm, my hair is important to me and I like to carry the things with me that I know that are going to make me comfortable and have my hair done and have it stay nice for multiple days in the parks. So I have, I put this in a plastic baggie as well, just in case anything were to explode, it wouldn't create a huge disaster. Uh, so I have, I always travel with the same stuff, no matter how many days I'm going, no matter where I'm going, this is my things that I always need. So first of all, I have a, uh, this is the Kenra Perfect Medium Spray. It's medium hold hairspray. Um, it doesn't really, matter but I prefer like a nicer brand of hairspray because the nicer brands are the ones that make the medium hold um a hard hold is like my nightmare but you do need a little something so medium hold hairspray I like the Kenra because they come in um travel size I also have this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Prep a powder tray invisible dry shampoo with French paint clay for normal to oily hair, this is the gold standard in my opinion of dry shampoo. It doesn't make it sticky, it's just completely weightless, it takes all the grease out, it is the most amazing product. It is pricey. I don't know, I don't always use this one, but if I'm going to Ulta, like sometimes I'll snag this because it just works so well. It's worth the money in my opinion. This tiny travel size was $14, which is completely outrageous but um, I do feel that this is worth it. This is my absolute favorite, but I will use other dry shampoo, obviously, if I don't have that one. And then this is sort of a new thing that I've been trying. It's the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray, and I had never tried a dry texture spray before, and it's kind of life-changing. Um, someone that I watch on YouTube just recommended it, and I realized, oh, I have this. I got this in like a sample collection of Moroccan oil stuff as a free gift from Sephora, I think. And then I just kind of threw it in my um, travel toiletries drawer thinking, oh, maybe I'll try that. But then she mentioned it and so I've tried it for the past couple days and I really like it. So I'm actually gonna get the full size product of this, but I thought I'd bring that along. It's good for refreshing, um, for like re, kind of like defining your curls. Um, that's probably a story for another day, but I always curl my hair when I'm going to Disney. I never straighten and I don't even bring a straightener because for me and the way that my hair type is, it's useless. It's just like banging your head up against a wall to try and straighten your hair in Florida. So I always curl and it stays pretty well. And then this is what I use um, after I get out of the shower to help um, brush out and blow out my hair. It's the Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray. It's sea buckthorn berry to protect texturized volume and repair for all hair types. And this has been working really well for me. Again, this is another thing that was um, like something I just picked out just to try on vacation and I really like this one. Um, it also helps cut down on the drying time. It helps with volume. It's just an all around good product. So I like that a lot. And then in the bottom of this bag, I have all sorts of just a bunch of bobby pins a bunch of regular hair ties and then a few um of these like stretchy ones that don't make a, a crease in your hair these are the ones that i've been really loving lately i got these at target and i need to get some more because you know you kind of lose them um yeah so yeah that's my hair product bag 
This little bag just has all of my vitamins and prescription medication that I need to be taking uh, for my pregnancy. I um, don't carry like all the bottles because especially with pregnancy vitamins the bottles are enormous so what I did was I just um, parceled them out for each day so I um, put everything I need for each morning in one separate bag and then uh, I figured I'll just pull one bag out and then take it with me to wherever we eat breakfast because I do have some medications that I need to take with food and my um, vitamins I prefer to take with food so I just Stick that in my bag each morning and then these I was afraid would kind of melt onto the others but these are my vitamin D gummies so I kept those separately but I can eat those like anytime um, but yeah I think this is a pretty good system of carrying uh, vitamins and medications because I find those tiny little like parceled out day um, vitamin boxes they don't fit the prenatal vitamins because they're like horse pills they're enormous so um, I think this is a really good system and I've been enjoying using that okay we're almost done the last bag that I have is my hair tools bag anyway this is what all of my travel toiletry bags used to be but I've been moving them over into the newer um, flamingo print but I haven't gotten a bag like this yet so I just use this old one it doesn't matter but you know I like I like my bags to look pretty so they're gonna be sitting out in our our bathroom for a week so what I have here is my hair dryer um, again with the being particular about my hair I need to bring my own hair dryer I have been in nightmare situations where there is no hair dryer in the room where it doesn't work where it doesn't work well it takes forever um, and so it's just more comfortable for me to bring my own hair dryer. This is the Cadillac of hair dryers that I got for Christmas from my mother-in-law. She is so generous and sweet and um, she had this hair dryer and she just loved it so much she knew that I would love it too. And it's the Dyson uh, hair dryer. You can bring any hair dryer, but I do like this one. Number one, it's quiet. Number two, it's small. It actually, this just comes apart so it's a very small profile hair dryer it works so fast it's just the best I can't say enough about it so um, you know a very splurgy item but totally worth it this is the little pad that they give you so it doesn't slip off the counter when you set it down so I just put that brought that with me because sometimes the countertops are pretty narrow and I would not want that to fall on the ground then this is my round brush that I use uh, only when I'm blow drying my hair that's just the one I always use. These kind of things I don't find that like I can use a travel situation. Like this is just, this is how big the brush is. I gotta take it. So that's how I am comfortable. And then last but not least, my beloved curling iron. This is the Hot Tools Professional. It goes up to 450 degrees. I think it's a an inch and a half barrel or an inch and three quarters. But um, funny story on my last trip to the Ritz Carlton Naples I was literally half I do my hair in half so I do one half and then the other half so I was halfway done with my hair and my curling iron died on me I had had it for years and years like since college I think and um, I sort of panicked and like jimmied this around so it ended up working but I, I limped through my last curl with that one and then um, I just replaced it with a new one so word to the wise if that is important to you um, maybe don't let your old, old, old curling iron just go until it dies on vacation. But I have a new one, so we're set. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed a look at my travel toiletries. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I will definitely be doing more packing videos because that's one of my favorite videos to watch and I find it very interesting to see what others pack. And I hope it gave you some good tips and tricks to pack yourself for Disney or for any trip. And if I'm missing anything or there's like a must-have item that you didn't see, um, let me know down in the comments because I always like to tweak my things a little bit and try new things. Also, I'm going to do my um, makeup bag in a separate video, so stay on the lookout for what's in my makeup bag for Disney. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye.